aspects on bass did you bring to the table for this album? Um, I brought a lot of aspects. I brought the tone I wanted to use was inspired by uh, like old school hardcore punk, like you know, like the cranked SVT sound. Like uh, some modern bands that use that tone would probably be like Trash Talk, like super distorted, like boosted tube amp for bass, but still has a pretty nice bottom end. And I tried to bring some technicality because, you know, deathcore isn't the most technical genre of metal, but like we still got to bring what we got into it. So I brought like technical stuff on a jazz and like, you know, walking harmony under stuff and like sweeping and this bunch of cool shit that I can do because I'm, I'm a <laughs> member of the group and well, and uh i don't know um <laughs> yeah how does it feel <laughs> yeah just how does it feel well and, it's uh, uh it's been a long time it's been about three years i've been with tom and and how has it progressed too as well yeah it's <laughs> it's progressed a lot you know when i joined the band we were just some like fucking <laughs> shitty like wannabe gore guts fucking like fucking gore grind band in our garage like Let's see how tight we can get our jeans and low we can get our ass to the ground while we're playing. Like, and we've like since like grown musically and like we just the music actually means something now. It's not just trying to be heavy and it's not trying to have the biggest swoop of hair and the tightest jeans. It's like we're trying to make music, you know. And that's what I'm about since I'm like a trained musician, you know. You don't find many, you know, classically trained musicians in deathcore bands, but I really believe in in deathcore. Oh, we're oh. filming. Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah, and just keep the local scene alive. Just listen to all the bands that fucking are there. You know. So yeah. One last question. Yeah. What the fuck does your shirt say? It says Wolves in the Throne Room, bro. Fucking, <laughs> fucking American black metal. Salad. Fucking, <laughs> that guy like the way. Fucking yeah. keep it alive, bro. American black metal. <laughs> Transcendental. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Sweet. All right, here we go. greatest influences that influence you to play piano? Uh, Beethoven, Bach, Tchaikovsky, uh, Mozart, Handel, uh, as far as bands go, Doom and Border, Cradle of Filth, Opeth, really anything soundtrack related or just emotive and creative. Uh, how did you feel working with I Kill Everyone? I was honored. It was really a pleasure. Um, it was it was really an experience putting a more cinematic approach to a lot of their music, and uh, it was exciting because their music such a intense blend of different things, and like putting this down on top, it was just icing on the cake, and it's really really some phenomenal stuff. If you had to compare the new music now to anything you've heard before, what would you compare it to? Carnifex and Behemoth together. I mean, ideally, that's exactly what it is. And then uh, working with Boda Works Studio, how did you feel about that? That was that was really an experience. The guys are great. They really know their stuff. They're a pleasure to work with. Um, they're easy to go along. Great engineers, great producers. I mean, I was I was very happy. I would definitely recommend them to anybody. Uh, for any shout outs you'd like, <laughs> or anything. <laughs> no, I'm good. Just uh, contact me at delray.david.com. Delray is spelled D E L R E. Uh, we're going to edit this actually. Delray period David at yahoo.com if you're interested in doing any 
soundtrack or studio work. Uh, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Uh, it's a pleasure.